Good morning and welcome to our time of prayer. Now we are in the first week of the season of Lent. Thank you for joining me. Let us pray. O Lord, open our lips and we shall praise your name. Because Christ has passed through the time of suffering, he is able to help those in time of trial. Rend your hearts and not your garments. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful. There is one body and one spirit, just as there is one hope held out in God's call to you. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be for ever. Amen. Let us make our confession to God. Holy God, we confess that we have rebelled against you and broken your law of love. We have not loved our neighbours, nor heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray and free us for joyful obedience. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In Christ we are set free. Through Christ we are forgiven. Amen. Thanks be to God. Psalm 95 Come, let us sing to the Lord and rejoice in the rock, our Saviour. Let us come and give thanks in his presence and greet him with songs of praise. The Lord is a great God, a King supreme over all. In his hands are the depths of the earth and the mountain heights are his. The sea is his, he made it, and the dry land was formed by his hands. Come. Let us kneel and adore, let us worship the Lord our Maker. He is our God, and we are his people, the flock he leads with his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, giver of life, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. At the opening of this day, you call us out of darkness into your marvellous light. Blessed are you for ever and ever. Amen. Psalm 73 Truly God is good to the upright to those who are pure in heart. But as for me, my feet had almost stumbled, my steps had nearly slipped. For I was envious of the arrogant, I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they have no pain, their bodies are sound and sleek, they are not in trouble as others are, they are not plagued like other people, Therefore pride is their necklace. Violence covers them like a garment. Their eyes swell out with fatness. Their hearts overflow with follies. They scoff and speak with malice. Loftily they threaten oppression. They set their mouths against heaven and their tongues range over the earth. Therefore the people turn and praise them and find no fault in them. And they say, How can God know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Such are the wicked. Always at ease, they increase in riches. All in vain I have kept my heart clean and washed my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued and am punished every morning. If I had said, 
I will walk on in this way. I would have been untrue to the circle of your children. But when I thought how to understand this, it seemed to me a wearisome task, until I went into the sanctuary of God. Then I perceived their end. Truly, you set them in slippery places. You make them fall to ruin. How they are destroyed in a moment, swept away utterly by terrors. They are like a dream when one awakes. On awaking you despise their phantoms. When my soul was embittered, when I was pricked in heart, I was stupid and ignorant. I was like a brute beast toward you. Nevertheless, I am continually with you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, and afterward you will receive me with honour. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is nothing on earth that I desire other than you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Indeed, those who are far from you will perish. You will put an end to those who are false to you. But for me, it is good to be near God. I have made the Lord God my refuge to tell of all your works. Reading from John's Gospel, chapter 5, beginning at verse 19. Jesus said to them, Very truly, I tell you, the Son can do nothing on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For whatever the Father does, the Son does likewise. The Father loves the Son and shows him all that he himself is doing. And he will show him greater works than these, so that you will be astonished. Indeed, just as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so also the Son gives life to whomever he wishes. The Father judges no one, but has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honour the Son, just as they honour the Father. Anyone who does not honour the Son does not honour the Father who sent him. Very truly, I tell you, Anyone who hears my word and believes him who sent me has eternal life and does not come under judgment, but has passed from death to life. Very truly, I tell you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so he has granted the Son also to have life in himself, and he has given him authority to execute judgment, because he is the Son of Man. Do not be astonished at this, for the hour is coming when all who are in their graves will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of condemnation. As we stand at the beginning of this Lent season, we reflect on the time Jesus spent in the wilderness and the temptations he faced there, the lure of finding his satisfaction, success and significance outside of God. Lord, we pray that as you stood firmly against temptation, that you will help us to make good choices in our own lives. Help us to look to you for our comfort and satisfaction for our sense of purpose and for our value and significance. May we be given the strength to think, speak and act in ways that bring glory to your name and demonstrate your love to those around us. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let us pray. 
God our Father, grant us the help of your Spirit in our prayers for the salvation of all people. We pray for the Church throughout the world, for our Church and all its members, for deanery and for diocese, for circuit and for district, that in faith and unity we may be constantly renewed by your Holy Spirit for mission and service. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for the peoples of the world, for the leaders of the nations, for the peoples affected by climate change and natural disaster, for conflict and for war. And we pray for those agencies who tend to the needy, that all may seek justice, freedom and peace. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for our country, for those who have authority and influence, and in these trying and difficult times, we pray especially for our leaders who have to make difficult decisions. We pray that all may serve one another in wisdom, honesty and compassion. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for those among whom we live and work, for all our neighbours and friends, that we may so use your gifts that together we may find joy in your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all in sorrow, need, anxiety or sickness. We pray for teachers, nurses, those who work in hospitals, doctors and all who are in any form of caring profession in these difficult times. We pray for those who are ill, especially those fighting for their lives in intensive care. And we pray for those who are recovering, perhaps slowly. We pray that in their weakness they may know your strength and in their despair they may find hope. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. In you, Father, we are one family on earth and in heaven. We remember in your presence those who have died, giving thanks especially for those who have revealed to us your grace in Christ. We pray also those who are grieving, especially those who have been unable to really meet their needs in terms of a funeral or family gatherings. Help us to remember those who have died. Help us to follow the example of your saints in light and bring us with them to the fullness of your eternal joy. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We say together the prayer that Jesus gave us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours 
now and for ever. Amen. Lord our God, as with all creation, we offer you the life of this new day. Give us grace to love and serve you to the praise of Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.